You're watching the 2021 Motorola G Stylus disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Alright, let's start off by removing the SIM tray. Let's also remove the stylus. So in order to remove the back plate, we need to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to apply heat directly to the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we need to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's your back plate and it is plastic, thank God, because there's so much adhesive underneath it. It took me quite a bit of time to pry it off. So once the back plate's removed, you have 18 T5 or Torx screws which need to be removed. Now that the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the top plastic cover. So taking a look at the top plastic cover, you have your glass camera lens cover over here and this glass piece can be removed by just applying heat and prying it off. There's just some adhesive underneath it. So in case you ever crack it, you don't have to disassemble the phone. You could just pry this piece off over here. You have some antenna lines over here, which are these light colored gray lines. And taking a look at the other side, you have your flash board over here. So there's this graphite pad over here, which covers a portion of the battery, as well as the shield over here on the motherboard. We're going to go ahead and peel off the graphite film. Once that's peeled off, we're going to disconnect the battery cable. Now that the battery cable is disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two wire cables over here in the corner, just pop those off. And then we need to peel off this copper tape over here, which is covering the connector for the front facing camera. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the front facing camera. There are two more T5 screws holding down the main board. One is located right here and one over here. Now that we have those screws removed, we can go ahead and lift up and remove the main board. So taking a look at your main board, you have a liquid damage indicator located here. It's this white sticker over here. The secondary microphone is located over here on top and your camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. Once the removable shields are removed on the front side, we can see thermal paste on top of the chips. On the back side, we can see the proximity sensor located on top. Your SIM and memory card readers located over here and your two other camera connectors are over here. There's also thermal paste over here on the back shield. Once the shield cover is removed, we can see more thermal paste on top of the processor itself. Now it's time to remove the speaker assembly. There's a black antenna flex cable over here running on top of the speaker assembly housing. And here's a better look at the speaker assembly itself. So we've got a flex cable over here we need to disconnect. And two more wire cables over here, which we need to pop off. There's one T5 screw over here holding on the charger port board. Once that's removed, we can lift up and remove the charger port board. There's a liquid damage indicator over here, this white sticker. Your main microphone is located right over here. And there's a rubber gasket around the charger port itself and the headphone jack. And here's a look at the other side. So now onto removing the battery. As always with Motorola, there are no pull tabs to help you pry the battery off. So you're either gonna have to apply heat to the front of the phone where the screen is, so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery, or you're gonna have to use isopropyl alcohol to gently get some around the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds. So it'll eat away at the adhesive underneath and make it easier to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at your battery. So now that the battery is removed, we can see this flex cable over here which connects your main board to your subboard on the bottom 
and we can see your screen cable over here, which is run through the slit in the midframe. So if you ever had to replace your screen, you'd have to take the back plate off, and then you'd have to remove the screws on top of the motherboard cover. You'd remove that cover and disconnect the cable for your screen over here. And then you'd also have to disconnect the battery cable and pry the battery off so you get access to your screen cable over here. And then you'd heat up the front of the phone where your screen is. You'd pry your screen off the midframe, get a new screen, run your cable back to the slit over here and reapply it back to your midframe and just reassemble your phone. So as far as the vibrator motor goes, it's down here. And it's a very old style one. It's about two or three generations old and I have no idea why they're using these. We have some more thermal paste over here where the motherboard sits. Your earpiece is located over here. And these two flex cables over here, which are for your volume keys, your power button and fingerprint reader are ran through the mid frame itself. So they go in between the mid frame and the screen assembly. And if you ever had to replace those, you'd have to actually pry the screen off to gain access to those as well. So as far as repairability goes on this phone, I'd give it a three out of 10. It's very difficult to get the back plate off. There's a lot of adhesive. The same with the battery. You're going to have a difficult time prying that off. So you're going to have to use isopropyl alcohol. So it's definitely not going to be a walk in the park. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.